What's up family? My name is Trail and today we have more information regarding some new inflation state checks. This time they want to provide $225 inflation checks to low income families. In other news, gas prices have nudged up even more over the weekend, hitting a new all time average price of $5 per gallon. I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit of information on how to save a little bit on your gas purchases during these economic times. And last but not least, there is a major heat wave going through the United States and causing some major concerns. I'm going to tell you guys all about it in just a moment. But first, as a quick reminder on this channel, we cover everything from what's going on around the world with the stock market, with the war in Ukraine, as well as multiple daily news stories around the world. So if you are interested in any of these topics today and you want to be a part of this channel, be so kind and go ahead and subscribe to it. It's totally free. And if you end up liking today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel and we are trying to reach 100,000 subscribers. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. But anyways, hey, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Well, guys, we have a new supply chain issue going on right now, and it is not the baby formula. This time, apparently, there is a shortage of tampons. Yes, this article right here says supply chain issues are creating a tampon shortage. Now, it does say that people are in search of tampons and other period products are finding sparsely stocked store shelves and higher prices. Popular retailers like CVS and Walgreens, as well as major manufacturers like Procter & Gamble, acknowledge the shortage of tampons and other period products and said that they are working to meet consumer demand as soon as possible. Now it says that these are from the contributing factors to the rising prices and an uptick in the cost to make the products. Materials manufacturers need such as cotton and plastic have been in high demand for use in personal protective equipment since the onset of COVID-19 pandemic. And also in addition to that, Russia's invasion of Ukraine constrained the supply of fertilizer that's needed to grow cotton in this country. So yes, guys, this is another the shortage that some of us have to worry about majority of women out there will have this concern moving forward but hopefully they figure it out much sooner but anyways guys hey over the weekend more than 80 million people were warned of high temperatures yes guys it happened in phoenix las vegas as well as other states like myself living in texas yes we reached new record highs over this weekend and just on saturday guys you can see right here on this screen screenshot here in the Dallas Fort Worth area we had 106 temperature yes guys also Phoenix and Las Vegas also hit record highs as well over the weekend and it looks like we have a couple more days to deal with these high extreme temperatures so again guys make sure that you stay hydrated drink lots of water in the meantime and make sure that you continue to take care of yourself as well as your health in this country those things are most important over over everything else. Moving on guys, we also had some breaking news over the weekend because gas prices hit $5 per gallon nationwide for the first time in over two decades. Yes guys, it says that gas prices are already nearly $2 more than they were just a year ago and they don't look like they are slowing down anytime soon according to some new reports. It says that the national average retail price for regular gasoline hit $5 per gallon on Saturday for the first time in over two decades and it's the highest that the group has seen gas prices rise since it started tracking the data back in 2000. Yes, it's likely to get worse worse as oil demand continues to outpace global oil supply, driving barrel prices even much higher, according to a AAA spokesperson. Now we'll say the real question is, when will the gas prices stop rising and will will the gas prices go back down once again and hopefully we can see those gas prices go down to the pre-pandemic levels but to answer those two questions right now we still don't know it looks like it's going to go up even higher but hopefully we do not reach the average price of six dollars per gallon but i do know some states have already reached seven dollars in those respective locations but we did see something peculiar in the state of massachusetts one gas station owner said that, look, we need to stop robbing the public. Yes, Massachusetts gas station owner,
dinner. He actually stopped selling gas because of the soaring prices. Yes, according to this article, it says that a Massachusetts gas station owner has stopped selling gas to protest the soaring prices. He says are robbing the public. Yes, Wren's mobile owner Reynolds Gladu told Western Mass News that he is taking a stand against rising gas prices by putting it out of gas sign on the door of the Amherst gas station. He said that, look, it's hard enough for people to put groceries on their table after working in the factory or wherever they work for 30 to 40 hours a week and not be able to put gas in their car to get back to work. I don't want to be a part of that at all, he said. And as of Friday morning, the national average, like I said, increased to around $5 per gallon. But guys, hey, we do have a bit of good news because there are a few ways out there in which you can actually save on these high gas prices. Yes, according to this article, we have the five top ways to save on high gas prices in the United States. Yes, the pain at the pump shows no signs of slowing down thus far with record high gas prices being broken over the weekend and now 16 states alongside of Washington, D.C. had averages exceeding $5 a gallon by Wednesday. California is around $6.39. Nevada was around $5.56. And Georgia had the lowest, which was around $4.38 a gallon. But anyways, guys, hey, these are just a few tips that are going to help you find a little bit of cheaper gas prices. It says that Gas Buddy, AAA apps, as well as others help you find where the cheap gas is located. And yes, you can use those particular apps, download them on your smartphone to find the cheapest gas prices before you fill up your tanks. Now, Gas Buddy spokesperson said that shopping around for the best gas prices, but the cheapest station isn't always the most convenient. And drivers can save in the range of 30 cents per gallon just by comparing prices and driving a few extra blocks. Now, they're saying that also in addition to that, Costco and Sam's Club, their gas prices are also low. It says that wholesale clubs like Costco and Sam's Club are known for having some of the lowest gas prices around, which also can make their gas stations some of the busiest out there. Now, retailers have considered it common for members to shop while visiting the store for a fill up for many years. But Bob Nelson, a Costco senior vice president, said that on May the 26th during the retailer's quarterly earnings call that a lot more members are coming by to top off their tanks just because the value proposition in some cases is over one dollar per gallon now meanwhile bj's wholesale can save you up to 10 cents per gallon of gas on each eligible item purchased with its fuel savers program and yes guys these are just a few ways to save additional funds on filling up your tanks because everybody right now deserves a different way to save on their gas fill ups at these gas pumps so yes guys almost every major gas station chain has a loyalty program and some regularly offer savings in addition to what you are already receiving. Through June the 12th, Waha is offering 15 cents off per gallon when you pay for gas through its app on your smartphone. 7-Elevens, their 7 Rewards program is going to give you around 11 cents off every gallon up to 20 gallons on 7 fill-ups in the first 90 days of signing up and then three cents off per gallon going forward. And then other top gas reward programs such as BPME Rewards, Exxon Mobil Rewards, and Shell Fuel Rewards are also giving you additional savings as well. In addition, we also have Kroger, Safeway, Walmart. They are all also offering fuel rewards as well. Grocery store chains, including the Kroger, the Albertsons, offer these additional gas savings when after you purchase groceries with their loyalty programs. So I know for myself, I use Kroger all the time and I have received up to $1 off per gallon of gas up to 30 gallons. Guys, that can save you around $30 per fill up if your gas tank is around 30 gallons. Now, one of the secret hacks is if you and your spouse both use unleaded gasoline, you can both take your car up to Kroger and then fill up both cars to actually reach that 30 gallon maximum amount of gas gasoline that you can put in your cars and save 
all of that money filling up both of your vehicles using the one discount code. So guys, those are just some peculiar ways that you can actually save a little bit of money at the gas pumps. I know a little bit goes a long way right now, especially as everyone in America are experiencing these high gas prices in this country. When will it ever end, guys? I, I just don't know the answer to that, guys. But in addition to that, hey, we do have some other states that are also introducing what they call a state gas rebate. And yes, these are some different states that are offering additional savings on your gas fill-ups as well. Right here, we have about five states that are introducing this gas rebate for the respective states. Number one, California. They are offering each individual around $200 per taxpayer with their adjusted gross income if they make less than $250,000 per year. So this could be some additional savings. Also, don't forget that California is also sending out $400 per driver in your household up to $800 in relation to the gas prices in this country. So that is some good news for California. And then we have Kansas. They are proposing right now a one-time tax rebate of $250 as well as $500 for married couples who file jointly. In addition, we have Kentucky. Their Senate just approved a $1 billion rebate for the state's taxpayers thanks to the state's budget surplus in which they are wanting to send out a one-time payment of $500 or up to $1,000 per household if this particular piece of legislation passes. So again, guys, that's some additional news. In other news, North Carolina, they are proposing a one-time payment of $200 to all licensed adult drivers over the age of 18 years old. That could be some additional relief. And this particular bill, if it is passed, would be effective from July the 1st. And those payments could be sent out by October the 1st. Then we also have Pennsylvania. They are actually cutting the state's 57.6 cents per gallon of gas on a gasoline gas tax bill so that it could be some additional savings as well as Virginia they are just receiving a budget surplus of 2.6 billion dollars in which they want to provide additional savings as well which is going to reduce your gas price by 26.2 cents per gallon of gas as their gasoline gas tax as well in the state of Virginia. So all of those are some good news for those particular states. And then in addition to that, we do have North Carolina Democrats are pushing for a $200 gas tax refund for their drivers. Yes, the GOP lawmakers are pointing to a broader relief on top of that as well. And then we also have this article right here where we have three states that have also introduced a gas tax holiday for the entire month of June. And those states are New York, Georgia, and Connecticut. So you are going to receive some benefits in those respective states. And then last but not least, guys, we have New York suspends their gas tax for the rest of the year, which started last Wednesday. So you're going to receive some additional savings if you live in New York because they just reduced their gas tax all the way to zero for the remaining of the year. So again, guys, all of this is some amazing news. And I hope you guys are really interested in this because like I said, we all need some type of savings right now in regards to the gas prices. But moving on to some stimulus update news, guys. Hey, we do have one state is proposing some new $225 taxpayer payments because of the high inflation in this country. Yes, Indiana, guys, they are proposing this new amount of money that they want to send $225 in payments to the Hoosier taxpayers to provide them with relief amid the worst inflation in the past 40 years. Now, Governor Eric Holcomb said on Thursday that he would call for a special legislative session before the end of June. So legislators could take action on his proposal, which would provide the payments under Indiana's automatic taxpayer refund law. Now, Hoosier taxpayers began receiving $125 payments last month under that law. And if lawmakers approve of this new plan, Holcomb said that each eligible Indiana resident would receive a combined total of about $350 in payments with a married couple filing jointly receiving around $700. So yes, guys, this is just another state offering what they consider inflation checks, which we have seen other states offering stimulus checks or state stimulus checks. But again, guys, local cities as well as local states continue to offer additional stimulus relief aid for the American people. Majority of the 
these relief checks or inflation checks are going to low income families. So that is also some good news, guys, which I will say that includes all of our Social Security recipients, which would include our seniors, our SSI, SSDI, VA beneficiaries, and many, many more. These are just another way for the states to offer additional relief aid to the American people in their respective states. But anyways, guys, I hope all this information was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today. But if you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. It's totally free. And if you like the video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us because it really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Yeah.